Hi, I'm Mike DeGreasley and welcome to Cracking CGI. In this short tutorial, we're going to grab a quick overview of 3ds Max's user interface. Now when we open 3ds Max for the first time, this here is the screen that we're presented with and it can be one of those moments when you go, wow, right, yeah, hmm, where do I start? Well, we could start up here in the top left hand corner with our application button. Left click on the mouse to access it. Its basic function is to open, import, export and save files. There's also um, a small section down here for some file management operations. Relatively straightforward. OK, close that. Now, it's always a good idea to save your work regularly with 3ds Max because it is prone to crashing if you're working on some big projects. Now that can become a little bit tedious if you're constantly having to access this section to save your files. So the developers of 3ds Max have actually included this quick access toolbar along here. This allows us to open new scenes, um, open files, save files. We can also set paths to our project folders. They've also included these two little icons here which are the undo scene operation and the redo scene operation. You will become very familiar with those two little icons. <laughs> um, to the far right there is this click down section here which allows you to customize this toolbar. You can check or uncheck those options that you wish to appear. Um, the hide menu bar don't fall into the trap of believing that that is hiding this toolbar. It hides this very important bar underneath it. As new Max users you're going to be using that quite a bit. The show below the ribbon. Um, that by pressing that what you're going to do is move it down from this section here to below this modeling ribbon here. Quick demonstration. There you go. I don't personally like it there so back to the top it goes. Here in the middle all it's doing is showing the application that I'm currently using which in this case is Autodesk 3ds Max 2011 with a 64-bit processor. This section here I haven't given our project uh, a name yet so that's just showing untitled. To the far right we have our information center. Um, I actually call it the Autodesk Command Center. Here we can search for items, we can visit our subscription center, the communication center. We have uh, a place here where we could put in our favorites and we also have access to the help. Uh, that's the help files which exist within 3ds Max and also help files which are available online. Down below we have our menu bar. Now this is text based as we can see and it's quite in depth. I would say that this to a great extent is the nerve center of 3ds Max itself. Um, it's far too in depth for us to cover in this particular tutorial but believe you and me it's something you're going to become very very familiar with. Below is our toolbar menu. It's icon based and it reflects many of the options which are available in this text based menu up above. This is the one that you will be using quite regularly with the command panel down here. One thing to notice with this menu is that some of the icons display a little tick in the bottom right hand corner. Left click on your mouse button, keep it pressed down and here we can see that we have variations of that particular tool. So if I was to click on the circle, let go of my mouse and now I have a circular selection tool available to me. As you can see going along this um, menu bar that there are a number of these icons and that's just telling you that there is a flyout menu below it. Down below we have our modeling ribbon which gives us access to our graphite modeling tools such as the paint objects, the brush settings and also freeform, selection, object paints etc. Something again that you're going to become quite familiar with. 
So let's now move on to our um, command panel. Now the command panel really is the heart of 3ds Max. This is where we create and modify all of our geometry. Now at the moment we're in our create tab and here we can see that we've got geometry we have shapes such as splines um, lighting this is photometric but in yours it probably comes in as standard we have cameras and we've also got helpers as well um, our space warps and our systems. Let's take a quick example. Let's create panel geometry. Now it's set to standard primitives but if we have a quick look in there you can see that I do have access to a number of other options. In this sub panel here we can see that we've got boxes, spheres, tube, pyramid, planes. I'm going to select box in this instance and you notice that another sub panel has opened up underneath it. I'm going to move over to the perspective viewport left click on my mouse button drag it out this way and then that way let go of my mouse button and drag it upwards left click to finish the operation now you can see that I have my first piece of geometry and we can edit and modify that by moving into our modify panel here and you'll notice that this now presents me with a new set of sub panels in the parameters section here there are some little spinners to the right of these units for length width and height by clicking and moving that I can increase or decrease the length the width or the height at which point the system freezes and I have to reset all the software <laughs> now is that Sos law or Murphy's law I forget oh well these things are sent to try us and it's what makes life more interesting but anyway back to it so this is the basic command section moving down to the far bottom right is our viewport and camera navigation controls at the moment it's set to the viewport controls um, but if we had a camera set up what we do is pop into this section here select cameras and it would give us a view through the lens of the camera and the icons down here would reflect the camera controls let's just have a quick look with this one we can zoom in and out um, if we wish to orbit the scene we would select that and that allows us to move around in that fashion um, we can pan so grab that and now we can pan in any direction we so please and of course if we wanted to have this particular um, viewport fully open we would click there and there we go and to bring back all of the four viewports click it again so we'll get to know these a little bit later on to the left of this we have our animation control panel and this works in conjunction with the animation section down here I think this is best explained if we give a little demonstration this area here is our animation timeline that's our slider what I want to do is select a move we've now selected that piece of geometry I'm going to auto key now when I press auto key it's activating this timeline and it's also activating the perspective viewport so any changes or modifications we make in this viewport will be reflected down here within the timeline now I'm going to set a key and I'm going to move forward one frame 
select our piece of geometry move it over there move our timeline on one frame move it over there on another frame move it up there and then we're going to turn the auto key off so now if we move anything in there it's not going to be reflected down here in the timeline so let's now take a look once we begin to animate it so I want to go back a frame back to the beginning and of course and there we go that's the animation section simples hmm. now before we bring this tutorial to a close I would just like to draw your attention to the far bottom left of our screen here we will find the Max script editor and listener if we right click with our mouse we can see that we could open the editor window or open the listener window just click on the listener for a moment now Max script is a very very powerful tool which is really for the more experienced user but it is something that we will cover in a future tutorial it is important that you do know it's there though okay so let's close that down well in the next tutorial we'll take a more in-depth look at using and navigating our four viewports here so all that remains is to say thank you for joining me I'm Mike DeGreasley and this is a cracking CGI production <laughs>